Hey, Zach, what's up? Hi, Jacob. Hey, Zach, do you want to see what I'm doing? Yes. Wait a minute, are your clothes on? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's a big disconnect. Yeah. 600, no, two, 300 amp. I think 250 amps, actually. For what? 250 MCMs. Uh, big cooling unit at CSL Plasma and up here off of Sheridan. Sheridan Road at Sheridan Village in Peoria. 250 MCMs? Yeah. How many, how many amps is that? I don't know how many amps it pulls, uh, quite honestly. I haven't looked at the nameplate. We got it fused at 250. Um, so I think it's, I think it, it runs at around like 180, 150 amps maybe. I'm not for sure what, what, it, what it runs at. But you don't know what size fuses you're putting in there? 250. 250. 250 amp. Yeah. So, What's up, Big anyway. Daddy? Hi. I'm going to shut my video off again, Zach, here. I'll, I'll be listening in on you. You're fine. I'm going to start taking attendance because it's my life now. Okay. I'm here. 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 Hey, John. What's, what's up, Jacob? Hey, I got your voicemail. I'll call you when I'm on the road. Oh, that's all good, brother. I know you're working and stuff. Who's Billiam Tate? Yeah, that's me, Luke. Oh, okay. <laughs> Luke? Boehner? Yeah. Wow, I'm surprised he's not late for once. <laughs> this is, uh, Mark, unmute your microphone. I didn't do it. Mark, there this is go. the first time you've been on time for this class all semester. <laughs> and, you, and you just barely made it. <laughs> um, hang on. What am I doing? Tuesday, March 31st. Brady's Brad. Don? Don's here. Don, are you able to talk on anything other than the chat box? Everybody hear me? Yep. Yes. Um, I uploaded some things onto the shared Google Drive. Have you guys looked at that yet? No. No. Did you guys get an email? Yeah. I have a bunch of emails, but I haven't read them yet. Okay. I need you. I need you all to look on. 
to that shared Google Drive to make sure you can access this stuff because um, this is how I think I'm going to be sharing everything with you guys. Can you, can you, um, hang on. Okay, can you guys see my screen? Yes. Yeah. Yep. It's a pretty nice looking screen. Thanks, Nathan. All right, let's go through this. Um, okay, so on this shared drive, I've got it broken down like this. Um, so all three classes, uh, um, And I wanted to show you in case you miss a lecture. Remember, I'm taking attendance, which is part of your grade now, right? Everybody understands that. But if you miss or if there's something you have a question on or you want to go back and look, this is the recording from yesterday. Whoops. Maybe I should put that on YouTube so you don't have to download it. I'll figure that out. I actually have it up on YouTube. Um, so the only thing I got from you was like three pictures and a video. Is that all I'm supposed to have? Well, did it show up in your email or are you looking in Google Drive? I'm looking in Google Drive. And 232. So there should be seven pictures if you go to 232, Electac 232. These, this is the first thing I wanted to show you guys because um, this might be helpful for you. I went through all of the inputs and outputs last night and labeled them. A couple of them were not working, so. Um, you might want to take a gander at this stuff. That's just a hint. Um, but so picture number one is all the, the, the outputs. Let's see. Inputs. Everybody understand what this picture means? No, it's pretty much our, what we talked about yesterday. Everything we went through and labeled, but you can double check your stuff and you can use these pictures if you want. Um, All right, so the this is channel, this is module one and it is, uh, so channel zero is the prox. Channel one is the green normally open push button. And there's a couple extra ones now. I added some inputs and stuff last night. So um, there's two more push buttons. Um, and I'll get to that in a second. So channel two, strobe unused, right green pilot light, top red pilot light. Okay. Um, under garage trainer info,
know what? Maybe I'll just put all this stuff on Blackboard. Would that be easier for you guys? Uh, yeah, no, I'm in it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm seeing it all. I'm just tr I'm being lazy because then I have to upload the video to YouTube and then post a YouTube video, but I'll do it that way so everything's all in one place. The the three thirty twenty is the video you're talking about, right? Yeah. Yeah, I see it. It's on there, but it looks like you guys are gonna have to download it. That's fine. Well, some people are working on phones and this is like I don't know how many megabytes. That's fair. It also says can't scan for viruses, so I'm pretty sure it's a Trojan horse you're trying to give us. Well, that's kind of my style. <laughs> Did you remove the video? Because I don't see it now. Where do you have it on online meetings. Oh, you got it in a folder. Okay. Yeah, it's in a folder. I think what I'm going to do is put all this stuff on Blackboard so it's all in one place. Will we still have access to the drives? Yeah. It, so I want to use the I want to use the Google Drive kind of like the L Drive, the the infamous L Drive. So if I need to share any files with you, I can put it on there. The problem with putting everything on Blackboard is that the college gets charged for how much memory they use in in Blackboard. So I have to be careful how many like, uh, that's why I need to upload it to YouTube instead of just putting a file on Blackboard, you know, embedding it in the site. Why don't you just dump the link to YouTube in That's what I'm gonna do, that's what I'm gonna do. I was just trying to skip a step, you know, not having to load it onto YouTube and then put the put the link in Blackboard, but I'll, I'll not be lazy and I'll, I'll make it easy for you guys because that's just the kind of person I am. You can drop the link in the shared folder. Exactly. I know. <laughs> this, I already uploaded it. It just, it takes a little time is all. It's fine. Hey, I'm look at that smiling face on that. Video. I know. I need to change that. Man, that's good. For a while there, I was scared that they were going to. Having a bad cough, so I got a call from HR. You got it? <laughs> okay. Uh, the main thing is I wanted to show you those those pictures of the inputs and what they're labeled as. And those might change. I might end up adding more. So here's what I'm thinking for this class. The first thing we got to go, the, the first thing we have to do is go through all of your groups and I need to know what you guys have access to for your files, like your logic, your um, wiring diagrams and your, all that stuff. So find the groups here. I can tell you now for the uh, Brady, I, and Luke, I was doing the PNID and the uh, ladder logic, and all of it is on my student drive. Uh, same for us. It's definitely all on the drive. Now, I'm not above smashing a window to get to it, but. Well, if you do that, you have to get everybody's stuff, not just yours. All right, that's fine. Send me passwords and emails and logins, and I'll get it. I'll get it all. I got you on the ski mask. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there we go. Appreciate it, Brady. All right, so um, group one, Mark, Brayton, Anthony, and Aaron. Yeah, all ours is um, on the student drive. I think Andy I printed was... most of it out, though. Yeah. Printed most of it out? Yeah. And you have that with you? Yeah.
Um, who has So you printed out the PNID, the wiring diagram. Did you do the team member roles? No, no. But I have both those. And then we have the peer review assignment. Did anybody do that? Supposed to. I don't even know if I posted it. Yeah, I didn't do it. I didn't know if we were supposed to do it or not. Yeah, yeah we didn't do it. All right. Well, I do need to put that in there because I need. Um... Okay. Uh, I'm going to post by noon today an assignment for you guys to do. It'll be on Blackboard and let's say it'll be Tuesday, Tuesday, April 7th will be the due date. All it is is um, a peer review short form that you're gonna fill out on Microsoft Word and then submit that file back to me on Blackboard. You all right with it being in the Google Word? Um, it has to be submitted on Blackboard, and I don't think it'll accept that format. Yeah, right. it Word. It has to be Word. All right. yep. Is that doable for everybody? Yep. Yeah. I can find a way to get to Word. How come you all have your pic your videos disabled? Because I look ugly. <laughs> oh, jeez. There you go, Zach. Vanessa did an advantage of myself. There you go. Okay, so you will have a peer review assignment due April 7th. You don't have to throw your people under the bus. Um, I like throwing Brad under the bus. Yeah, he usually does. That's fine. Uh -oh. Hey, the state needs licensed healthcare workers to sign up at IllinoisHelps.net. Oh, there you go. You guys are getting it too. They need you, Zach. I'm not a health worker. You could be. I'm not good for people. <laughs> I agree with that. But you're essential to us. <laughs> but you're essential to us. <laughs> well, thanks, Don. It did look at essential in education now, so I'm not sure. Okay, so everybody knows that you're going to have a Microsoft Word form to fill out by Tuesday, April 7th. That's one week from today. Okay. All right. So group one... Uh, the files, the, the electronic copies are on the H drive and um, who has, who has their, who has the copies of everything on their student drive? We do. Anthony, I'm just talking to group one now. Uh, yeah, I do. You have everything. Uh, yeah, I think so. P and ID, wiring diagram, team member roles. We never really did the team member roles. 
Okay. Well, let's let's make that due April seventh too. Um, all right. Let me show you what I'm looking at on Blackboard. I'm on the 230 Blackboard site, and under course content, there's a chart. Um, forget about the due dates right now, but just look at this left column. P and ID printed, wiring diagram printed, team member roles. Um, all it is is a Word document that I want you to say, you know, Anthony was the 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 guy pulling the wire and making stuff up and um, Mark did the P and ID and you know, that kind of thing. All right. Everybody got that? Yeah, we got it. So I just need Anybody? one of those, one of those per group. So if, if Anthony just sends me that word document with those, um, team member roles on it and just email that one to me. I won't put that on Blackboard. Okay. And okay. that'll be due next Tuesday as well. So we don't, all of us don't have to do that? No, one per group. The peer review, everybody has to do. The team member roles, that's gonna be submitted per group. And now we got it. What I'm trying to do is figure out if there's a way like we can get Anthony into his H drive um, remotely, then he can email me this stuff, you know, and we can look at it together. I just don't want everything you guys did for the first eight weeks to go to waste because we don't have access to it, you know. Um, I get it. All right, group two, Brad, Jacob, and John. You're seeing our PNID, but it's on the H drive and the printer copies at the school. I think Jake might have another copy of the PNID, um, but I'm not positive. The line diagram, um, we had not completed yet. We plan to do that this week. And then uh, team member roles we have not done. Yeah, I have a copy of the P and ID, John, in my folder. Um, so I could just screenshot that or something or take a picture of it and send it to you, Zach. Okay. Um, who has the... In your group, who has the stuff on their eight, their student drive, their H drive? I have the P and ID on my H drive. I have the PLC program on my H drive. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of mixed and matched. Crap. Cool. You can just open the door to the school. La Re Revolution. Nathan, at least move, mute yourself when you throw your laptop across the room. That's not me, bro. <laughs> oh. I think that was Jacob. He's actually on a job site right now. Oh, uh, well then, never mind. No, Jacob's muted. He is now. Oh. Uh, yeah, he has been for most of it. He's just come on to talk. Jacob's over there pulling wire with his phone in his hand. That man is a wire management god. He is. <laughs> he, is. he is. He really is. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Appreciate the compliment. <laughs> <laughs>
All right. Group one, back to the basics. Uh, the PNID and the wiring diagram are on Anthony's um, H drive. H drive. All right, who's got the RS Logics five five hundred file? Group one. Pretty sure that was Aaron. Aaron, Aaron, are you there? I don't think he is. He's on mute. Uh, um, yeah. Aaron. <laughs> hey, Aaron. <laughs> Someone put an F in the chat for that boy. <laughs> All right, Aaron, if you're in Milwaukee, bark twice. What movie is that from? Oh. Baxter, bark twice if you're in Milwaukee. Nothing? No, no. No, oh, come on. You guys haven't seen Anchorman? Uh, yeah, yeah. I was Googling it as you were saying it. I'm not that fast in the morning. You know, in China, they call bat the chicken of the cave. That's why we're in this mess, Nathan. <laughs> um, so okay. You guys see my screen again? Yes. So chicken noodle hey. soup. Group two. I'm just looking for the electronic copy. Um, so group two is Brad, Jacob, and John. Who's got the the P and ID? John does. John's H drive? Yeah. Who's got the wiring diagram? We don't have a wiring diagram. It's all in my head. Well, we can make one off of uh, Jacob's. Didn't you have like a block diagram or something? Well, we had a P and ID, but no, we didn't have a block diagram. We have I have all the outputs and what they all do on the list, but I don't have like an actual diagram of it. I mean, do I need to build a, a ladder a ladder diagram, or what are you what are you looking for with that? A piece of paper with so, just a bunch Jacob. of bunch of dashes on it can you see this yeah. yeah something like that well that's like a it's that's not a wire diagram really. I mean I guess it is but well, that's what I'm looking for it's that's basically a P and ID without the piping yeah that's no. kind of weird. Okay, that looks I just want to see how everything's wired up 
Well, I mean, if I can get my P and ID, then I can just modify that. All right. Well, maybe I'll put some examples of these up on Blackboard. Um, but without Visio, how are we going to do them? I'm thinking Google Draw. Oh. Okay. No? I'm about I mean, I could try. You know, I never thought I'd say I wish I wish I had a Vizio. Yeah, no kidding. I hate Vizio, but I really <laughs> wish you guys had it right now. Do we not have Vizio? Isn't that a Microsoft? I don't think it's part so. of Microsoft Office. Oh, it is? No. Yeah, and then like 100 bucks to buy it all. And really, all you want is Word. I think I have Vizio on my laptop. I'm not for sure on that. I don't even want words. Everyone can, everyone can come and use my video if they want. I'm oh. to ten people, man. I'm just kidding about that. <laughs> <laughs> I heard Aaron's got a cough, so uh, I don't know about him. All right, and then who had the uh, the RS Logics file? Group two. I think Jacob did. Jacob, Jacob. did. Jacob's H drive. Yes, I do believe. Yes, that is correct. Okay. Group three. Yo. Brady, Luke, and Nathan. Who's got um, the P and ID? I do. I think Nathan's got everything. Nathan's H drive? I... Yep, Nathan has everything. You have H you have everything? Yeah, yeah, I have everything except the wiring diagram. I didn't do that either. Okay. Anthony and Brady. What did you guys do the whole time? What do you mean? I'm totally kidding. Uh, where's Luke at? Luke even here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, group four, Tyler, Don, Zach, McKenzie. McKenzie, I'm pretty sure had everything. No, I had the P and ID. Oh, we'll get you Not being important. Drive. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> and then, I don't think we had a wire diagram. And then Kinsey had the RS logics. Well, this sucks. All right, so what I need to try to do is figure out if there's a way to get into your student drives to get that information. I'm not going to put any due dates on any of this stuff until we figure out what we have access to. Um, so for now, uh, we've got some stuff that I do need you to turn in. Um, team member roles. I'll put that under course content. And I will load that by noon today. Um, what else? Uh, wiring diagram. Is that what we said? We had mentioned a wiring diagram. Oh, peer review. Uh, 
Um, well, look at that, Zach. You can buy us Vizio for five dollars a month per person. Yeah, I'm good. You got it. I'll cash up you five bucks. Did you say five thousand dollars per person? No, oh, five dollars. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, Microsoft's a, a known ripoff, but not that bad. Shots fired. Does oh, yeah. it ever look like on eBay you can find Microsoft Office for like, you know, 30 bucks with the key code and everything? They sell it cheaper in countries that can't afford it. So we get the $120 price tag. And then like a country that's not quite as profitable get like a $15 price tag. Because they know that they're probably not going to buy it. Yeah, All right, so I'm going to post the assignment by noon on Blackboard. Um, what else? And I'm also going to post examples of um, I'll, I'll put examples of PNIDs, wiring diagrams, and team member roles. So you can see what I'm looking for. Um, don't worry about the wiring diagram right now until I until I can figure out if we have access to all your stuff. I don't want to make you do a wiring diagram for something that you don't even have right in front of you. Um, but if we can get access to things and those of you like groups two and four, if you don't have one made up, you can make one up on uh, uh, Google Draw. So right now, these are the only things due um, for this class. April 7th. Everybody got it? Everybody understand what it means? So each person needs to submit the peer review assignment and each group needs one submission of the team member roles. And I'm going to post the assignment and some examples of these things on Blackboard so you can see what I'm looking for. Okay? Okay. Okay. Now we need to figure out what we're going to do moving forward. So what I was thinking was Since you guys don't have the software to, to write the logic, I was thinking about having each group create their own process and meet with me, um, like just a group, like, like uh, group one on Thursday, or um, have time slots where we can work on this stuff together. Because really, what, what I need you guys to know for this class is how to run a process using instruments, PLCs, um, and read a P and ID, I guess. Um, the problem that I'm seeing right now is that on these trainers that I have set up, I don't know that I have enough inputs and outputs to have everybody have their own unique setup but I'm looking at maybe getting like a little water pump or something like making a little process in here that you guys can create your own um, create your own setup for round two I guess I'm looking for feedback on this because I I'm kind of winging it so we would all be on the same thing 
doing something slightly different? Yeah, so here's what I'm thinking. Uh, you guys have a list of all the outputs and inputs now, right? Yeah. You could come up with some kind of process, kind of the same way we're doing in the other class, except I have the process laid out for you. What I'm thinking for this is you have some kind of simple process that you create um, using the inputs and outputs that I have here. Um, to do round two. And we'll make them simple processes so that you guys, I mean, you only have what, seven weeks? But if we have a small process and you, you guys meet with me, we can create the logic together, we can go through the inputs and outputs together, and that's how I'm envisioning this happening. So right now, nothing, I guess what I'm trying to say is right now nothing's decided, but um, from Anthony to everybody, you have RS logics, right? Oh, there's Aaron. I don't have a microphone and my desk computer. What was the question? Oh, the logics 500 file was saved on my student drive at school. I don't know how to access that from a no school network computer. Okay. So Aaron does have the RS logics file. All right. Whoa, Kenzie is typing in there. Wait, Kenzie's what? here? Oh, and her phone died. <laughs> she missed her alarm. Excuses. And I'm supposed to believe that? <laughs> I think she's quarantined. There's no reason for her to miss this. Honestly. Oh, no, she she's quarantined into... Uh, she went down to Decatur to her parents' house, and she's quarantined there. Are you still right. quarantined if you traveled to get to quarantine? I have no idea, man. It was it didn't make sense to me either, but whatever. I mean, I'm just saying, maybe we need some military lockdown, you know? Oh, right, because that's going to go over well with everyone. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but the stores are like sold out of ammo, so I am sure it will go great. Presley's still got nines and sevens. Why are why are they all sold out of ammo? That's because people out. are panicking. I'll You're sell you some. and everything. Yeah, you, you need, what I'll do you sell need? you some, John. What do you need? Uh, I could use like another thousand rounds of nine mil. A buck yeah, around. I'll sell them to you for a buck a round. Oh, man. Oh, dear. Deal. Deal? I'll wire you the money tonight. Okay. Wait, really? I got 9 by 19 Parabellum. Uh, no, I'm only buying from Zach. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> stay out of my racket, Brady. <laughs> hey, money making opportunities. Brady okay. will sell you it for 50 cents instead. Uh, okay. I don't know. It's, uh... Well, I guess it's really, you know, as far as opinions on, on this for the class, I don't know if there's any other way for you to do this class. Um, this is a challenging one to do online. Definitely. Yeah, we'll get through it, though. I mean, that's why I'm thinking if I meet with each group individually and – what I need to do is, okay, so here's what I'm thinking right now. Just dismissing the class and giving us all A's? For yeah, today. I like that idea. For today, no. yes. No, I mean, we we'll have to do this. It's my job to make sure everybody understands everything. So I at least want to learn something, just saying. Um, <laughs> and I think, it. I mean, silver lining is, instead of me just cutting you guys loose to go, you know, figure everything out on your own i can help you along the way if we meet one group at a time so here's what i'm thinking for starting next week we'll have um each group like i'll have a time slot so if i'm if i'm here from nine to noon on tuesdays and thursdays like i could have group one um nine o'clock 
group two at 1030 and then group three, nine o'clock on Thursday, group four, nine, or 1030 on Thursdays. Does that make sense? And then we'll go through each group. We'll have its own process. What I'm going to try to do for Thursday, let's all meet back on Thursday at 10. I'm going to try to get some more um, inputs and outputs on this thing so we can have some kind of process. It'd be cool to have like a conveyor, or, I don't know, something that we can actually see moving instead of just motors turning. Um, so for Thursday, that's going to be my task. Your guys, your assignment is just um, what we went over the, and I'll post the stuff on Blackboard too so you don't forget. Oh, I'm muted. I said I already forgot. What'd you say? You already forgot what? Yeah, I'm not sure what we're talking about. Um, electronics. Uh, I don't know what that is. All right. Here's what I'm going to show you. Everybody look at, at me. <laughs> See this spreadsheet? Raise your hand yeah. if you see the spreadsheet. Uh, uh, Thank you. I'm raising my hand, uh, but you can't see me. Uh, going, there you go. I'm going to put this on Blackboard. Here's your due dates. So one week from today, I need this stuff. Okay? This coming Thursday, we're going to meet back here in this room at 10 o'clock. And we're going to start moving towards um, a schedule with the groups for the second go around of this thing. You'll have the same kind of um, assignment, PNID, wiring diagram, team member roles, RS Logics 500 file, but everything's going to be done, the group with me, since I have the software, and um, I'll have some different Input. So I, what I'll do is I'll give you guys a list of the inputs and outputs, kind of like I have on those pictures. Where did I put those pictures? Fourth type. 232. Sorry. Yeah, so you guys will have this list, um, and you can say, all right, let's run a process like this. But right now, the only thing we can do is, like, heat stuff up and cool it down, you know but maybe I can get some small pumps or something in here. We can move some water around or I don't know. I'll see what I can come up with by Thursday. Oh, hey, one more thing, John. Did you see what I put on, did you see what I put on this thing for you because you were complaining? What did I complain about? Uh, yeah, I saw that. I saw that. I can't see those. You can't see it? They're different no. color, just like what you said. He said he's going to put LEDs on the, the yeah, board. LEDs is what we wanted. How am I supposed to put LEDs on there? And this thing Figure starts out, man. wireless the sticky LEDs. ones. Put a little battery on the shaft and run the make the battery spin, too? Yeah, yep. make it um. Uh, All right. I've had enough of this abuse. <laughs> well, that's good. Thank you. Get the remote one so you can change the color. <laughs> <laughs> Kids got those in their room. I'll send you a couple, Zach. Okay. <laughs> you sure they're not going to miss those? No, they won't miss them. All I need is your address, bank account, and social security number. Oh. Go ahead, put it in the chat, Brad. <laughs> Wait. Oh, you're not sending them to me. I have no use for them. Look who finally decided to show up. Hey, Nathan, shut up. <laughs> Man, I thought Luke was usually the one late to class. Yeah. Hey, you guys my, want to do something cool? my phone died. My alarm didn't go off, so I just woke up. That's what why that my phone's not on. Like eleven o'clock. Are you sixteen? Hey. hey guys, don't team up on me. That's not nice. Look at this, guys. This is actually something that's exciting. Look at all this stuff. What oh, is yeah. that, Jacob? That is exciting. What is it? Hold on, I'm missing it. I'm all these here individual. All these the little individual muddy at the school. Down here. Yeah, I broke that window like you were talking about, John. Oh, nice. I, like uh, it. Are you yeah, I was in there. I went into the library and broke 
flip some desks over too. <laughs> what they're plant? All, are you at? It's it's at the blood donation or the plasma center at Sheridan Village. I'm putting a big new cooler up on the roof. Oh, nice. This is this is the control cabinet. I didn't do all this wiring. I mean, we did that there. The main. What do you? In. Are you sure? Because uh, that looks like your handiwork. <laughs> I, I over here just admiring it. I really like it. It looks looks really nice. Yeah, it looks good. It does look very nice. But I'm sure Zach could do this when he was working on his stop flights in his day. Right, Zach? Why did he put those loops in there? You know, I wondered about that. I don't know why they did that. I've Extra never seen wide. anybody do that. That's weird. It increases the inductance. Yeah. With insulation in it, though. Would you want to increase the inductance? I'm sorry, I don't. I don't I'm that's totally a good thing. Kidding. It's somebody's. It's somebody's style. I think it's aesthetically nice. Okay. Yeah, because because like, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Whatever. Up here, this looks cool. This looks. Whoa, there we go. That looks kind of cool. That looks nice. All those running up there, all just dropping right out. That looks pretty nice. Okay, John. Anyway. Can you see the motor spinning? I can. Uh, Hold on, I I pinned Jacob. Let me see. How do I? Okay, here we go. Yeah, I mean it's rough, but I can see it. Oh my gosh! <laughs> you know, some lights would help. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> you know, since Jacob is on the job actually right now, why don't why don't make him the teacher? <laughs> Jacob. <laughs> Teach us what you're doing. Answer that one, Zach. That sounds Zach, good. I don't know. I don't know what's going on you're, here. I don't know no, who mentioned that. No, no, you, just got, you just got volunteered. That, I just got volunteered. I mean, you got volunteered. No, no, no. I didn't tell him. I just, I just, I just put that out there. Everyone gets A's. We're out of here. Oh, <laughs> yes, <laughs> I'm okay with this. <laughs> hey, why don't you tell Gerard you guys to come downstairs and play them? You know, be nice to each other. Well, I'll play with you when I'm done. That's fine. We can pull it back out. Yeah, we'll wake the girls up and make them play too. Hey, Don. Don or John? Don. The Don. Man. I'm messaging Don. Yes, you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you, Dom. Okay. Um, Dom. We can hear you. I know. It's just weird talking to somebody who can't talk back to me. <laughs> he can. He just doesn't have a mic. Don, why don't you get your, like, Xbox controller mic and plug it or into your phone? iPhone headphones, bro. You can you could probably yes. find them in one of your junk drawers. Probably, well... So the older ones don't have mics, but... Shit, I got an old one. I'm using it with the mic. It still has a mic, though. Right, Brad. That's my point. 